Okay, everybody. So this is just a quick video um, about your homework. I'm sorry that I uploaded that first video without sound. This one has sound. Yay, sound. Uh, so I apologize about that. So basically, uh, you've got a few different smaller homeworks over the next few days. Um, the first one is this small packet. It's the texture value exercise. Okay, a couple changes uh, to the PDF. Uh, the first one is it mentions your sketchbook. Go ahead and you can use just like half a sheet of mixed media paper um, or even print your paper for this. And where it talks about pencils, uh, it tells like three specific pencils. So um, you can just use the pencils that came in your kit. I want you to try out different pencils though. Um, so basically what you're doing is really quite straightforward. You're going to create um, your own version of like these nine squares of textures. Now the textures are quantitative. So um, that means that they have quantity changes to them. So when you're dealing with quantitative marks like this, then um, those marks, as you can see, like they can be something like a directional zigzag mark, like the one I'm pointing to right now, um, or a scribble. But the idea being that the more there are, the more quantity there is, the darker something will be. So you're gonna use your pencils to create like your own little uh, examples um, of the different squares that you see here. Don't copy these. I don't want an exact copy of these. I want your own interpretation of texture and value. So value uh, being lightness to darkness. And you're going to create that by utilizing um, the textural approach of um, scribbling or cross hatching or something of that nature. So please read through the packet. It has a lot of beautiful uh, images from the graphic novel called From Hell, which is a graphic novel about um, Jack the Ripper. And Alan Moore uh, is the person who does the uh, writing for that and also like the, the bulk of the illustrations. I really want you to um, look at his illustrations in this, they're really beautiful. Okay, so again, you're gonna be using like half a sheet of mixed media paper or again, even just printer paper. Um, you're gonna create nine squares, three rows by three columns. Okay, use your ruler and then it says layout pencil, but you could do like a 2B. And then you're going to try out your different um, pencils in the different squares, okay? Like you don't have to go over them in pen, just straight up pencil, try not to smudge them. You're making different types of marks, okay? So again, it's going to look like this for, uh, final image here. And I also uh, put some uh, one sort of example from a student into the assignment so that you can see what the outcome looks like. Um, so. Uh, actually, there's two from two different students. The next packet is this texture and trees packet. And this is all about like composition and also about what we call mass. So you can see I'm like a really big Star Wars fan. And so you can see like Darth Vader is here and he's talking to the commander and he's basically explaining like how to draw a forest because the commander's drawings are of the forest aren't very good. And so Darth Vader is like, you know, you must stop drawing every leaf. And then the commander guy's like, you asked the impossible. That's a lot to draw. And then Darth Vader's like, you're not thinking holistically. You will never finish your drawing. And then the kind is like, I'll never finish. We shall double our efforts. And then Darth Vader's like, good. It looks silly anyway. So like the idea being that like, obviously A, that I should not be a voiceover actor, actress, um, and B, that like, um, you know, honestly, like when you draw a forest, you can't draw every tree. So a big part of this um, assignment deals with um, trees, but it's also gonna have two components and the other component deals with composition. So I give you an example of a Francois Boucher drawing, which I find really inspirational. And then I sort of like, break it down so you can see the different ways that the composition can function um, in terms of like thrusting of energy and pausing of energy and just like the overall sensation of how the eye moves through the piece. And then this is my recreation of that composition. I really love that piece. And so I've made my own version of it using uh, this sort of like anamorphic trans body 
a narrative that I've been employing for a few years. So this is the first part of the assignment. It deals with composition, okay? And so what you're gonna be doing is uh, looking at the idea of marks. So marks are like the visual um, language that um, your uh, tools make on the page. So you're going to use those graphite stick or the crayons. You should have two crayons in your kit. They're graphite crayons. And you're going to fill a 24 inch by 18 inch mixed media page with a variety of marks. So what do marks mean? It means like I'm not interested in a drawing of anything in particular. I just want like different types of marks and textures that you can create with the tools. You're going to fill the page. Uh, make sure you leave some negative space and then, you know, versus some mark making and then take a piece of printer paper and cut out a window that's nine inches by six inches. So then you, you're basically like making a frame that's six inches by nine inches. And then like you're going to use that to find places in your drawing to cut out. So you're going to like lay it on top of one of the areas you made, like the examples. And when you find an area that you like, that it has a good composition, then you will create you know, go ahead and trace the rectangle and then cut it out. So you're going to start this drawing with a, um, a full 18 by 24 sheet that's covered in marks and textures. And then you're going to end up with four small six inch by nine inch drawings. Um, and what I'm looking at is this idea of composition with you. So don't just randomly cut things out. I really want you to move that little rectangle around to try to discover places where you have um, a good balance between the marks and the paper. So a student asked me like, you know, is there any trick I can incorporate that would be like really helpful here? And like, I would say like, draw on the side of the tool. Like, so um, like just along the edge of the tool, if the tool has a wrapper, remove the wrapper and draw with the side, sharpen the tool, dull the tool, crack the tool. Um, like you can do anything you want with these tools. Um, you could draw left-handed instead of right-handed. You could put the tool between your toes and draw with your feet. Um, so you just get experimentational. I don't want you to feel restricted in any way, except for only one way. And that is do not make a picture of anything in particular. Okay. So I don't want you to have anything in particular. Okay. So um, by the end, you're gonna have these four smaller drawings, six inches by nine inches. The rest of the paper you can just discard. Okay, so then the last part of the drawing assignment. So the last part of the drawing assignment is the largest part, and this is uh, about trees and marks and texture. So if you remember back to Darth Vader, Darth Vader was telling the commander, like, you can't draw every leaf in the forest. You have to think about holistic drawing. So in this case, holistic drawing is looking at the overall shapes of the tree. Um, and so big shapes of light, big shapes of dark, lots of texture to describe the form, but not individual leaves. Here we do see a few places where we have individual leaves, like number 19 there but they're not really everywhere and it's only one tree. So you're really kind of trying to figure out how to draw a tree um, and use the idea of closure from Gestalt principles to remove some information. So focusing mostly perhaps on the darks and emitting the lights, but like looking at the planes of shape and the planes of light and dark. Um, and so you want to incorporate some of the marks that you've discovered in the first part of the assignment, and that will help you to um, create your trees. So um, the last thing that we're going to be doing is the uh, egg quiz part of the assignment. Um, and so with the egg quiz, that's where you're going to be doing like the last little bit. So um, for your trees, you're drawing 20 trees, try to get them all on one page. And like I would do um, rows of four by columns of uh, uh, five um, or the other way around and just use your different pencils to investigate. The egg quiz, you need to watch the video on egg drawing. Now this is probably, again, one of the most important things you're gonna learn this quarter. A lot of the second half of the quarter is based on the information in this 
video so you want to watch all of it and then you're just going to take the egg quiz it is about an hour long video but i did that on purpose because i want you to watch me draw from step one to the final step okay eventually i'll need to remake this video because i'm getting older and um the video is me when i'm younger <laughs> um and so sorry about my email opening there um but it's a good video. It's I've been using it for quite some time, and I think it does a really great job of explaining this process and technique. So watch the video, take the quiz, and um, get ready to start switching to graphite and charcoal in class.